Hello, Ruby and I are in Porthmadog this afternoon. It's mid-October, the sun's shining, the narrow gauge railway is running, the mountains and the harbour all look beautiful. And it's not unusual to get weather like this in North Wales during October. It's a beautiful month of the year. What is unusual is the house that I'm just about to show you here at Tir Bath at 10 Garth Terrace in Port Maddog. It's unusual in some nice ways, so carry on watching and I'll show you around. This is Terrace Road where Tir Bath backs onto and that's the house just there. You enter it by going through this archway where you've got your own allocated car parking space on the left hand side. The fact that you're up this road, which is a no through road with very little traffic, means it's a lot quieter and the other great thing is there's some lovely views out over the mountains in that direction. It's pretty late afternoon here, that's your car parking space here and you can see you've got this nice little lane at the back which means you're in a nice sort of quiet situation. Here's your front entrance where you can sit outside in the sunshine and below here there's a cellar which I'll show you later. So let's go inside and let's uh, get a feel for what it's all like. So as you go in the front door of the tier bath, you go into a small entrance hallway with the staircase up on the right and then you walk through to the main lounge here. Now there's something that strikes you as soon as you walk into this house. It's not 21st century luxury appeal that attracts you, it's just the fact that it feels so restful, almost cottagey and really relaxing. Now listen, the front door's open but I can't hear any traffic. It's a lovely calm retreat in here. And if we go over to the window over here, you can look out here and you can see the peak of Connect. It looks absolutely fantastic with the sunset over here. Over through this way, we go through to the kitchen. The kitchen's divided into two areas here. This is obviously the main kitchen area. You've got an integrated oven and hob. It's all pretty utilitarian, but nice gloss fronted white units keep it nice and bright in here. Over this end here, there's a decent dining area with space for four people to sit. What I love is this big window here because it opens up nicely to let lots of fresh air in but the view here extends right across the estuary to connect and all of the moil winds. As we come upstairs, this cottage appeal continues. You can see pretty low ceilings here, nice original staircase and low banister. There's a window here and there's two bedrooms which are in this direction here. The shower room and bathroom are over here. This is the main double bedroom here. It's got a set of drawers fitted in there and the double wardrobes there work really well because the mirror fronted doors make the room feel a bit bigger than it really is. But there's also a fantastic view of the mountains to wake up to from this bedroom as well. This is the second bedroom, which is also a double. There's also a low ceiling in here. And from this window, there's another lovely view of Knecht. This is the upstairs shower room, which is off the landing. But as you come out of this shower room, I bet you've been eyeing up this ladder to see where this goes. Well, let's go and have a look. This rickety ladder looks like I'm setting myself up for an accident. But actually, wow, what a surprise up here. This attic room has got all sorts of potential for fun and games. The headroom is a little bit restricted here, but I can stand up in the middle. And there's two roof windows here, which once again, there's fantastic views. I can see the estuary from here, the moil winds, and there goes a seagull flying past. It's also a great view of Tramadog Cliffs. The other last little thing we'd like to show you is how to get to this cellar. There's an entrance down these steps at the side here. This cellar here has got power to it and it houses the gas-fired central heating boiler and also the electric water heater. It's quite useful for bin storage and stuff as well. 
Well, it's lovely for Ruby and I to finish the afternoon and come down to the harbour side here at Porth Maddog. Tir Bard gets its name from the Welsh poet that used to live here. His name was Alicius Williams, but he actually went by his bardic name, which was Avion Wynne. He was a Welsh language poet and is so famous that the local primary school was even named after him as well. There's a bit more information about him on our website if you want to have a look. The house itself now is doubtless a lot more modern and comfortable than when Avion Wynne lived there. It's now got gas-fired central heating. It's also UPVC double glazing. I hope my video has given you a bit of an insight into what it's like now. If you'd like to come and view it for yourself, Ruby and I, I'd love to come and meet you up here. Give us a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281 599. And if you'd like to be updated with further videos, make sure you subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube and press the little alarm bell button to get notifications. In the meantime, if you found this useful, please give the video a like and thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye now and good evening.